Okay, here it is. The Nautis Drathalin. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. Right, because darkspawn, demons, and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I'd usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Good news is, I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. The way the magic is pulsing, I've never seen this before. It's almost like it's breathing. I wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. There we go. Ooh. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Oh. Ooh. What does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh. No. 
you don't. Sulana, Vir Sulevana, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nada Sturthar. Right, um, I have questions. I am the Nada Sturthar. What do you... So that's the Nada Sturthalan? It was, or is, I mean. Crystal's broken, though. Needs fixing. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. Strife and Irulan will want to know about this. And the Blight, and the Darkspawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veil Jumper camp. Ready to go? 
Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. Rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Jahel Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn, too, near the Nodis Durthalan. Wait, you found the Nodis Durthalan? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods, figure out their next move. If it weren't broken, maybe, but we're not getting anything out of it anytime soon. Meanwhile, bell jumpers are disappearing. Something out there took them. I know. But maybe, if we find them... We find the gods. Or at least some sign of where they might be. But Arlathan Forest is huge. Where do we even begin to look for them? Demeta's Crossing. What? Irulan and Strife. When we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demeta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. Four, I'm coming with you. Nev, you were still shaky, and... I'm coming, Harding. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people, and it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demeter's Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there, and good luck. We'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. What you hear about Demeter's crossing? Veil jumpers have gone missing. Do we know why? Someone will have to go out there and find out. Have a look.
And now that we've met, do your best not to die. Can be rough out there. <laughs> That's the plan. If it gets too rough, just come back and I'll square. We're losing too many veil jumpers as it is. Now Demeter's crossing. Seems like a lot's happened around here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Mad... ...magisters destroyed Arlethan City centuries ago. A whole lot of blood magic during the war. What about now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air. Ruins float. It's like... An old wound that never healed, and now it's bleeding again. We got it.
Brooke, ready to go? Nev, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Couldn't sit still much longer. Then let's go. I've never seen fog this thick in Demetta's Crossing. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Stay sharp. It's so quiet. Too quiet. Where is everybody? Market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just abandoned. They barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No. To keep something in. Get in over here. <gasps> it's blight, even worse than in the forest. Keep them in, Mayor's orders. You okay? What happened here? Keep them inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. We'll be rewarded. All of us. No, you can't leave. Hey, can you hear me? Just stay here and everything will be fine. Everyone has to stay. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. The 
town square. We need to search for survivors. See what we can find. Fan out. This is Adeline. I knew her. She was a farmer. Sold spices to us. The best in Arlathan. I can't believe this happened. Look at... Is that an Aravel on the roof? Light must have lifted it up there. Light is weird. Ever seen anything like it? Never. Light's usually dead, static, but this is alive. Okay, let's keep going. Might be more survivors. Big. Stay sharp. Over there. Two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the Veil Jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. for bail jumpers. What did the mayor want with them? <gasps> Look! More people! Must round up, everyone. Get them inside. We need water. Your fellow veil jumpers? Valara. Jahel, he's alive. 
Bilara. We're, we're going to help you. We'll get you down to hell. No. Listen. The gods... The gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. And the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, be careful. Sounds close. People! Are they, uh... Blighted. Dead. All of them. You gave them to the gods, didn't you? Didn't you? They were in my head. Infecting my thoughts. They made me do it. Please, help me. You're not going anywhere until I get the full story. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gilanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. All this for gold? The villagers, the bail jumpers, the blights everywhere. Demenda's Crossing is dead because of your greed. Uh, I, I didn't know. You don't understand what it was like to hear those voices. The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die. The blights everywhere. What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook?
Leave him here. He can fend for himself. No! Wolves will get him in the night. Or, given the state of this place, something worse. The people of Demetis Crossing were depending on him. The least he can do is stay with them now. A steep price to pay. And we're the ones to choose it? Somebody has to. You don't understand the power they have. They show you what you crave. They speak to the darkness in your heart. No one can stand against that. Watch me. I won't be the last to surrender. I felt the evil. Let's go. No point arguing with a dead man. No. The fade had opened, and the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects, even their fellow gods, all gone. But they still had the power of the Blight, and corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight, all of it, to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elgernon and Gillanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elgernon and Gillanane used them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gillanane shall require many hands. And I look forward to your help. How refreshing. Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What can you tell us about all this? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas.
Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf? So I have come to learn. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history, and why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain it to him. Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. I hope it helps. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods are through. This is our fault. When we interrupted Solus's ritual, the gods escaped. Would those feelings not be better used to put things right? But how? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his... well, he calls it the Lighthouse. Ah, yes. The legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithin. I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Illuvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Illuvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods. And they're killing people and blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? None of us can do this alone. But we can stop them together. Bellara, you're one of the only people in the world who can get our Alluvian working. Hardin can track down the Lyrium Dagger, and Nev can spot any clues we might miss that give us more information. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right, let's move. Do this, Lace. It's gotta be done. I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. 
I should have taken the shot. We shouldn't be at each other's throats. I'm not. Nev, I'm not. I don't blame you, or Rook, or anyone. So just yourself? How's that working out? Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, solace is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting. You push for answers and action, while I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solace's dagger. It'll be a start. Feel lingering magic. Powerful magic. The dagger was here. Something took it. Open. Look up there, that magical device.
on the trail. Darkspawn don't usually collect things, do they? Solus's dagger is special. They might have been drawn to it. <laughs> <laughs> 